We have been in Singapore for three days now and we have learned a lot that people in Singapore love their food. My belly is stretching beyond belief. But we thought we'd try something different from laksa, different from curry, maybe the weird, strange foods that Singapore has on offer. With this fresh frog porridge. A ribbit, a ribbit, a ribbit. Welcome to Singapore, we're doing the best things that uh, Geelang has to offer. So we're not seeing a red light district, but instead we're feeding our stomachs now. So here we are at Lorong 9. Here are some of the more special things. So a lot of people come here to Singapore in Lorong 9 for the frog slicks porridge. So you're looking at the one that's a Hong Pao version, which uses dried chili, which can be a little bit spicy. I have no idea what to expect here. We've just seen the, uh, the live American bullfrogs being slaughtered out the back. It's a quick snip around the neck, quick snip around the feet. And uh, then they're cooked in the pot and here they are. So a bit of porridge, a bit of frog. <laughs> Who's what's gonna happen? All right, so you're gonna try the uh, frog porridge finally. Let me know what it tastes like. <laughs> We've got chilies in here, so I know it's gonna be hot. I've got a lump of meat, which looks like a pig's testicle, maybe. I mean, it's, um... <laughs> it's really interesting getting over the whole thing in your head of what the hell is in my mouth. But it's got some... At least it's fresh, Bone. and you know that. Bit of sinew, bit of knuckle, bit of springy stuff. Does it taste fresh? It tastes great, but no frog ain't gonna be jumping anymore. Would you eat it again? <laughs> Tadpoles, frog spawn, newts, cane toads, call them what you will. When they're put in a pot and they're cooked up, they are fat, tasty little morsels. I shouldn't have done it, I have done it. It's one of those tasty experiences you've got to try when you come to Singapore.